The door finally gave up the ghost. It had been sagging for a while, but it finally fell right to the ground. I had put a cable in there at some point, and that got a couple years out of it. And once I got it down on the ground, the whole thing just came apart. I didn't have to use any tools or anything. There were a couple things that were split, but it was pretty easy to glue back together. It wasn't a big deal at all. The whole thing was put together with these 5 8 inch dowels. I just had to drill out the holes to make them a little bigger so I could get 3 quarters inch dowels in there and get to fresh wood. I did discover that a couple of this on the very bottom had been pinned in place with metal nails, which messed up a couple of my drill bits before I discovered this but I got the metal out and was able to re-drill all the holes. It's just a straight hardwood dowel to replace the 5 8 ones that were in there. The glass panels had long since broken out and been replaced with plywood. And I figured this is a good time to this back in there as well. The only trick putting it back together is that the, the glass had to be caulked in and the wood part, the rail tiles, had to be glued in. And then there's that point they, where those two corners touch, like the corner of the glass. And I just had to be careful to make sure that the, the caulk didn't touch the wood, the wood glue didn't touch the caulk just so I didn't end up, you know, gluing in a glass panel or getting only a caulk joint wood. And the panels at the bottom were just, those were just uh, pressure fit in there and then the rails and styles were glued around it. So same thing, to be careful not to get glue on the panels themselves. Yeah, measure the corner to corner, and if the two diagonal the same, then the thing's square, so good to go. Final thing was just making sure that when I clamped it up, clamps on both sides just so that it wouldn't bow one way or the other. You just put some on the bottom and some on the top and it, it goes together. When I rehung the door, I did the garage itself had gone out of plumb. That whole side is not straight, so I had to shim up the bottom of the door. Because the paint is old, I vacuum it up. I assume it's lead paint, so I, I figured I'd probably clean it up. And that finishes it up. 